Good morning, everybody. How are you? Today is a new day. Oops, let me get that so that it's not reflecting. Pattern Dash Collections is where you want to go to find the patterns. If you want to support this website and help it to um, remain free for everyone, um, if you have an extra dollar or two this week, please hit that PayPal button and think about maybe making a donation to Pattern Dash Collections. It does not go to me. Um, if you do want to uh, support me in any way, um, links are in the description below for um, my Amazon affiliate links. I make a penny or two for every time you click through using Amazon, but you know, a penny or two is more than nothing. So I'd appreciate that if you want to do that. If you don't, that's cool too. I'm not, I'm not being pushy. Uh, we're going to go down here and try to find the one that has a squirrel. We're going to do a squirrel today. Ruffle is today's pattern. And squirrel is the animal we're going to try to hide within this. Oh, pardon me. Wow. Sorry about that. Didn't realize I was that tired. Anyways, Ruffle's fairly straightforward and pretty easy. You're going to make sets of parallel lines. So you're going to be farther apart, closer together, farther apart, closer together in sets. And then where they're farther apart at the top and at the bottom, you're going to make at the top, it shows a straight, whoops, 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 whoops what was that? At the top it shows a straight line, at the bottom it shows a curve. You could still do a curve here too, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> well actually, yeah I guess it does. Okay, so straight line at the top, curve at the bottom. Then the next one, a curve at the top, and then a straight line at the bottom. And then it creates this. Now it doesn't matter if these lines are really straight or if they're a little wonky. And here's the sample. And then you just shade. See, see what shading does? If you shade in there, then that recedes and then this is sticking out and that goes in and this is out and that's in. And you have a ruffled like a curtain. Okay, and we want a squirrel today. So, let me put this over here. Let me grab myself a paper. What do I want? Maybe brown? Shall we do a brown paper? Sure, why not? Get my stool. And turn on my light so we get rid of these funky shadows. See, they disappear and I get my light on. Zoom in just a bit. Okay. Now we want a little squirrel. And I'm thinking maybe peeking out over the top of this curtain. Why not? I'm going to actually... Maybe draw my little squirrel first. Where'd my pencil go? There it is. I'm thinking maybe up here? Let's start with the eyes. some little squirrely teeth and I don't know what squirrels look like kind of like this I could be completely off but we're gonna do 
little squirrel paws coming up over the edge of the of the curtain. We're going to have the curtain kind of coming this way and maybe dipping down where the little squirrel is. Yeah, maybe like that. And then, do they have ears? They do have ears. Of course they have ears. I don't know what kind of ears they have. Is that a squirrel ear? What the heck? And then a big fluffy squirrel tail. We're gonna have a big fluffy, fluffy tailed squirrel, whatever kind that is. We don't have a whole lot of squirrels here uh, where I live, so I'm not overly. Uh, I don't see a lot of squirrels in my everyday life, put it that way. Okay, so then we're going to do this curtain. It's going to come maybe this way. Or maybe all the way across. I don't usually go all the way to the edge, but I'm feeling like I want to go all the way to the edge this time. Like that. Okay. What have I got all over my face? Hmm. Alrighty then. Let's... I'm going to start with my squirrel. Because... It needs to be in there first. Because I've got to put the... The uh, ruffle behind. I don't know if this is a good face shape for a squirrel. Let me Google cartoon squirrel. Here are some pictures that match. Thank you. Easy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not too bad. Close enough. Big googly eyes. I left Google search on. According to Wikipedia, I eyes did. are organs of the visual system. Oh the goodness. With vision, the ability to receive and process visual detail, as well as enabling several Thanks, Google. functions that are independent. Apparently Google is now telling me about eyes. Alright. Stop, stop, stop. Close all. Google Assist needs to be off. Thank you. Thank you for that, Mr. Google. That works. Not sure that that was accurate. We'll do that. Something like that. Does that look like enough like a squirrel that you guys would recognize it as a squirrel? I hope so. All right, so now we're gonna go with one here. So close together and farther apart. And close together. 
and further apart and I am on purpose making them wonky and closer together and further apart and closer together further apart and closer together farther apart Closer, further, closer, and one right at the edge. All right, well, that's my my thingamabob. These I want to be fairly straight at the top. Like that. Kind of looks more like a fence than a curtain. But these need to go inward. And then these, these ones curve and that goes straight. that and then we just shade ruffle with squirrel Let's erase all of those little pencil marks that don't belong. And we are going to shade. I need to sharpen my pencil. This little pencil is getting kind of stubby. I'm going to have to put it into my People always ask me what kind of pencil do you use. I'm using whatever pencils. You could just use a, a yellow number two school pencil. One of these. It's the. But this one happens to be a 2H extra hard. Can you see that on there? I don't like these for shading. It's fine for, for like um, sketching. But I don't like it for shading because it doesn't give you enough graphite on the page. Um, I've been using HB which is closer to a number two regular um, yellow pencil, school pencil. But I I have a video about pencils. Um, the bigger the number next to B is softer. So there's HB and then there's 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, See, there's B. HB is some, somewhere in between. This would be like a 1B. Doesn't give you, doesn't tell you one, but HB is like right in the middle between hard and um, black or soft. Um, the bigger the number on either side, uh, the harder or softer the lead is. And you get more graphite. So like this one's a 4B. 4B is not gonna be as dark as the 6B. And both of these are going to be darker than the HB. And the other way around, um, this 2H is going to be lighter and harder with less graphite coming down. And you can go all the way up to like a 6H as well. Um, 
This was a cheap set of pencils from when my son did an art class at school. And um, I just keep using it. But I'm going to... I'm My my pencil's getting kind of stubby, hard to hang on to. So I bought this um, pencil extender. Uh, it has two sides, depending on how fat your pencil is. This is, side is clearly the wrong size for this pencil. Um, it's got a little ring here that you push up and see these little slots right there. I don't know if you can see them, but those slots right there, um, when you push this ring up, they get closer and closer together. So it tightens. So you put your pencil in the end and then you tighten the ring to wherever it is. So it depends on how fat the pencil is as to, um, how tight that, you know, where, where that tightens up. Some of the skinnier pencils, this collar goes all the way to the top. But anyway, then I have a little extra room to hang on to the pencil. And it doesn't, uh, much easier to, to hang on to than the little short stubby pencil. And you can use your pencil all the way down to its littlest nib, which is pretty cool. We're just going to give this guy some shading right here on this side of all of these. Mostly at the top and the bottom, I think really help the illusion of the ruffle. What the heck's going on? Oh my phone keeps going off. All sorts of things. I'm slated for jury duty next week and I filled out my juror questionnaire which included adding my cell phone number to it so that they could contact me if necessary. Um, just with everything that's going on in the world right now, um, court has not always been in session. Um, and so I've been getting all these messages from the courthouse um, you know, today there hasn't been a message, which means that there's, I think court is in session, but I've been getting messages that, you know, either court is not in session for the whole day or that, um, I, we get a message in the middle of the afternoon that says the afternoon session has been canceled or got messages, you know, due to due to the civil unrest, the rioting, um, the court is canceled altogether. All those sorts of messages I've been getting. And, um, not sure where to, not a hundred percent sure where to put the shading on this little guy. So we're just gonna, oh, that makes him look angry. Well, maybe when I blur it out a little bit, it'll uh, make him look a little less angry. I'll make him uh, chubby cheeks. All right, let's blur this out. So I've been getting a lot more uh, messages on my phone than I normally do. Yeah, I'm not sure I like the that, but that I like. Oh yeah, we need more under here. Like this. Darn. 
mark under there. And I'm going to get rid of some of this. I don't like that. That's a little too dark. I'll just go tappity 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 with my kneaded eraser. I'm not going to get rid of all of it. But I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. That's better. I like that better. Okay. So let's do one of these questions because the rest of this is just going to be a little bit of shading and then I'll be done. Uh, if one by one you had to place each of the people with you right now in another period of history that you think suits them best, when and where would you place them? I would place... I would place my husband in the early 60s at NASA. That period of time of the early space program really fascinates him. Um... My son computers are his thing, so I think I would stick him in the early days of like Apple, something like that. When would that have been? That would have been the similar time period, the, the maybe the early 70s, late 70s, early 80s, something like that. He would, he would enjoy that. Um, and I'll pick my BFF. None of them are with me right now, so, you know, I would be me by myself, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, and my BFF, I would stick her... in the Renaissance. Renaissance? Is that when it was? When when was when was the art period with um with Mary Cassatt and some of those other famous um female artists in that time period where female artists were beginning to really um, get a foothold, I think that's where I would stick her. I don't know where, where that would be. And would that be in France? I'm not sure. Something like that. I think that would be her jam. Speaking of BFF, if you are the praying kind, would you keep her in your thoughts? She's been having some struggles, interpersonal struggles between her <coughs> herself and some family member, and um, not going to go into it, but if. If you're the praying kind, God knows. And um, that would be awesome. She'd appreciate the, uh, the support. Just think it's really sad that during this time of of racial tension that um, 
that family members have to also accuse one another of things that aren't true. And neither side is listening to the other and it's just, I don't know, it's just sad. I think that needs to be needs to be actually the white pen. The pencil's not enough. Something like that. Little pop of white. I think it needs a little more graphite in here and here. Let's, let's get that a little darker. Like so. Let's smudge out these cheeks a little bit. They're a little little bright. And then let's get a gel pen and let's just brighten up these little eyes. The little teethies. Like that. And I think we're going to gently put a little more highlight. In bits and places along here. But not like full. Come on. Doesn't want to write. Great. Love it when that happens. Come on, little pen. Right. Nope. She's in she's a dead one. This is why I ordered a new gel pen. Come on. Start writing, will ya? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A little bit. Come on. Apparently, that's all, all I'm going to get with the extra bright white highlight. Oh, this is sad. Come on. I wanted all, all of them to have a little, a little something, something. I have, do I have another? I have the decories, but that's a different color. Uh, that's all right. We'll just throw a little bit of that in there. Did you guys see that um, SpaceX launch? I know. By the time you see this, it'll be a month. It'll be old news. But um, I haven't been really keeping up on the whole SpaceX thing. My husband had me watch the live launch of the astronauts going to the space station. I did not realize that SpaceX was capturing the first stage of the rocket booster. And it just lands. Boom. And they catch it they don't have to drag it out of the ocean as a big chunk of rocket booster. It just lands and they reuse it. I think that is just spectacular. Anyway, there's my little squirrel on a ruffle. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. You know, whole world would be a whole lot better 
if people would just not be jerks. Good, good life lesson. Don't be a jerk. All right, you guys, uh, stay safe, um, physically, mentally, spiritually. Um, wow. I'm all of a sudden getting really emotional, which means I'm touching someone today with my words. I hope that, 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 that something that I said today has resonated with you. And, um, yeah, go out and do something nice for someone today. And we're going to make the world a better place. One person at a time. We can do it. Just have to be positive and kind to one another. Always. Even if you don't agree. Just be kind. You don't have to... You don't have to agree. You just have to be nice. We can do this. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.